This gear is called the Poisoned Skeleton Scythe. Clicking swings the scythe, which deals damage on contact. If you damage a character while swinging, they have a 25% chance to be poisoned for 60 seconds, which makes them change color 8 times, sets their walk speed to 8, and doubles the damage they take. For more information, keep watching. The Poisoned Skeleton Scythe looks like a scythe. The blade is tinted green, and its edge is covered in a green substance. Its crooked handle extends into a cover over the back of the blade to its tip, and is made of black and green bones. On the top of the cover over the blade are four spikes which curve backward. Three more spikes curve downward from the handle covering the back of the blade. The top of the handle ends in a large spike, curving backward as well. When in use, the scythe appears held in your hand, facing forward. It's taller than your character, and around as long as your character is wide. The tool is sold for 700 Robux and has the horror genre. Its attribute is melee, and the description says, Dangerous to anyone who gets hit. In addition to the slash damage, there is a 25% change of poisoning anyone you hit. If poisoned, your foe will be unable to jump and can only walk at half speed. The in-game icon is an image of the scythe facing to the right. It has no tooltip. When equipped, the scythe is held sideways using both hands. Like most gear, the poisoned skeleton scythe is droppable. The first way to use the gear is to touch humanoids with it. Any humanoid who comes in contact with the scythe that is not you will take 9 damage. The second way to use the gear is to click with it equipped. Doing so will swing the scythe for 0.7 seconds. And during this time, any targets it deals damage to who do not have anything named poison script inside of their humanoid objects will have a 1 in 4 chance of being poisoned. Poisoned targets will have their walk speed set to 8 and take twice as much damage for 60 seconds. A poisoned target will also have their appearance changed, with their character's body colors turning green, and there are seven more shades of green their character will turn over the course of their poisoning. Each shade of green lasts for 7.5 seconds, and these shades are MED yellowish green, BR yellowish green, medium green, TR green, faded green, bright green, dark green, and earth green. Once the 60 seconds are up, the target's body colors will return to what they were at the point of poisoning, and their walk speed will be set to the default speed of 16. If you kill a player or they die from damage they've taken being doubled by the poison, then if the game you are playing has KOs, you will earn one. The shape of the scythe is identical to the regular skeleton scythe, which I have reviewed previously. Unfortunately, the gear does not work if your character is R15. So is the poisoned skeleton scythe worth getting? I don't believe so. The gear is fairly expensive and not nearly as powerful as the regular skeleton scythe, which is sold for 100 less Robux. Slowing down a target is only really useful for getting to or attacking them from far away. However, unlike the regular skeleton scythe, the poisoned skeleton scythe is entirely short-ranged. While the poisoning ability is interesting to observe and experience, most characters with a default maximum health of 100 will likely die immediately if you attempt to poison them, making it impractical to use on both unwilling and willing targets. If you have any other gear you want me to review, let me know in the comments. That is all for this review. Bye.